hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video um we are going to be working on the photo manipulation right here in pixel lab so i'll be showing you guys how i created this photo manipulation with pixel lab so without wasting much of our time let's get to this so quickly all the um resources and everything will be together in the pop file so you do have to get the, the pop file with the link in the description below so with that being said guys let's get started so i'll just disable this um the original design layer i'll disable this here so the first thing is this to import your water png so once you've done that you can see you would okay since it's already in uh, your pixel app size so all you need to do is to resize it the size is 102 by 98 so you just need to stretch it out a bit the highest size you can get pixel up with 100 yes so that i said just a bit just stretch that a bit so once you've done that you are you're going to adjust this adjust this um water png you bring it down a little bit so i'm just going to bring it down to somewhere like this if i'm okay with that i'll bring and i'll centralize it back i'll bring it down to somewhere like this yes mine is okay already so i just lock that layer now i'll lock that layer now so the next one is um the cook png so i'll just position this here i'll position this here and i will do this the size for this is still um 4472 so i'll do this and i, I rotated this from the this i rotated this so i'm going to rotate this now to minus 20 let's keep it at minus 21 so so you can see how uh, where it is so i'll just position this up a bit position this up a bit so okay we forgot um the background for the background the first thing i how i got the color was so i'm going to colors i picked this and i selected the color from this light this part here this part here so the light part i just picked that Okay, let me see if it's still the same. Okay, it's just a little bit darker. It's just a little bit darker. But the background color I use was um. Uh, okay, this is color code here. You can copy, go ahead and copy the color code there. So that is that for the background um section. So the next thing which you're going to do now is to duplicate your water um PNG. So I'm going to duplicate this water PNG, and I'll place it here. Okay, the same place where the original one is. I'll place that there. I'll just adjust this a little bit then i'll go to it's time to start erasing now i'll go to the erase section and i'm going to erase this erase a lot of parts from this entirely let me increase my um the brush size so i'm going to erase all this all this i just want the heap of this part of this water area i just want the heap of that so i'm going to do this do this do this do this, do this. erase this every single part which i don't need i'm still erasing so i'll do that okay i think this should be okay so I was, I would erase the top also as well. I raise the top. I raise the top. So let me zoom in a bit to see exactly what I'm doing. You can take your time to do this, but we don't want this tutorial to be too long. So we're just going to rush through this. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to rush through this. Okay. So that's that for that. Hold on. Let me just move. Okay. All right. I can still move this. Let's see. Let's see. I don't think this part actually matters but let me just erase it in case okay let's see that's that okay yes this is it it's already positioned in the same place where it is okay this top this top is actually not perfect here this top here so i'm just going to clear a little bit of this and this okay yeah okay yes it's okay we're going to manage this for now like, i can go back and erase it perfectly there's nothing wrong with that so i'll duplicate the same um the same okay let me just lock this layer i'll duplicate the same Yes, this is what we just erase. What we just the elements we just erase, and I'll go to the erase section once again. Where is it? Okay, this is it. And I would let me get everything back. And I'll erase now. What I need to erase is this part. I'll just erase only the top, only the top, just only the top. Okay, I think I've done too much, but let's see. I think I've done too much. Okay, okay, it's not too much. Let me still erase some part from the top. This particular area, this area. Let me just erase some parts from this. So just follow follow my steps because this the main thing here is this water um uh, stuff. So I'm going to do this. So for the um first one, which is this. Okay, the first one is actually at the back. Okay, that's that one is at the back. Then this second, which I just did. Okay, this is one that's at the top. So this okay, let me show you what I'm saying. Hold on. The second one here, this is it. This one will be at the top, top, top. So I reduce the opacity for this the last one which we just erased. So you can see it. You can see it. But you can't reduce the opacity all the way down because of the color of our water. You can see our water is actually dark. So um the opacity I used in mine was 66. So I'll just put that back at 66 and I'll just cut it. So you can see the the thing the main thing we did here. Let me disable this layer. So you can see the that heap, the top of that water is what we duplicated so that that place can also blend in where we did other water which is at down. 
so you can see that that's why we were erasing we raised the up part and we we're doing all those stuff so you can actually reposition this like you know since you raise this they are not really really aligned okay i've gone too much you can think i need to raise this particular area too you can just saw this this part here is showing so i need to raise that part so let's just okay just hold on and let me just do that real quick okay yes this is it let me just raise bring this part a bit down so that everything can blend well together so you can actually try this out yourself you might actually get this in the first go there's nothing wrong with that so i'll just okay i'll just leave mine at this yes i'll just leave mine at this so the opacity is 66 right so we have um, done the main this is the main thing here so we have done the main thing so let's start now by you know completing the main design so i, I added a blur radius to this so this is it so in order to do that you click on the plus um the plus icon here when you are in once i pick the shape and change the shape to circle and a gradient the color the color will be a gradient i click on the plus icon here so first since this in i've said this many times my tutorial this will be here normally so you pick this uh kind of uh, format which is this is this one here which is facing the middle so the first one here whatever color is there just make it transparent it's be here just pick that and make it transparent and i'll drag it away here i'll drag it all the way here then for the second color i'll do this so my color code is this you can do it to copy that color code and write it click on the pen pencil um icon and you know you'll be able to write the color code there so let's just leave that at that so this is it i've okay it's already there i'll increase the size i'll place it here increase the size i think i'm okay with this let's see first just increase the size normally i don't need that okay my own size is 9393 okay it's already placed i'll place it to the back so you can see now i'll position it to the top a bit okay i think my um i can my coke and everything is actually a bit to the top so i'll try to bring them down everything i'll try to bring them down all down let me just try to bring the last account space at the top so i'm bringing them down okay this is okay this is okay so one thing you should consider also when downloading the water png let the water not be um you can actually download the one that has a background but let's see the what the there should be space at the top because because of this thing i'm doing now this exact thing i'm doing so that is that for that so let's go back to our main design and see if there is see what we're actually doing next so this is it yes this is it okay i've done the main thing the let me import my clouds and my sheep and start importing everything. So I'll just place this to the top, to the top. Just hold on. Give me a moment. Let me move all this. So just follow what I'm doing. The next one is my cloud. So this cloud is actually, okay, let's see. I think this is already repeated. Let's see. Okay, no, it isn't. So this is it. The size for this is um 64, 64. So there's nothing. This is not just, uh, this is just as to do. Oh, sorry about that. Let me log this layer. Let me log this. It's just about placement so just do, put it some do something like this place it here duplicate it again place it here take this to bump it okay this duplicate it again and i'll place it here okay i think this is not exactly what i did for this cloud but i rotated one to the opposite direction i used the different um okay it's not here something like this but exactly that doesn't matter it's just still okay still okay still okay so just leave it that so this is it yes it's different from mine but it's still okay okay yes see the cloud from format is different from mine but it's still okay yes it's still okay let's just rush through this tutorial you can do it too if you want to do exactly what i did you can do it to that so let's go to the next thing here i added a black blur gradient to this coca cola here to make this place a bit darker so i just picked the shape oh sorry what's wrong with this i just picked the shape and i you know the color is black so okay so it's actually positioned like this yes i picked the first gradient there the first this one here this is one i used so i've already mentioned that i got did this um particular stuff this gradient sample before so this is it let me just so this is it i will take this like this to this coca-cola area brought it down a bit okay that is just be aligned with that i also reduce the opacity keep that 75 keep that 75 okay and now all i need is to bring it to the back of that sorry to the front of the of the um the front of the coca cola so this is it yes this is it so there's a little difference there okay it's not rotated perfectly so i'll just give it a little bit okay yes i'll rotate it to minus 23 minus 23 yes and i'll push it in push it in here yes, this is it then pick it to the top a bit push it out again okay this is it i actually didn't max it anymore since it was um it's already touching the ending of the coca cola bottom so once i disable the layer you see what i'm talking about that's what let me disable the layer so you can see that you can see that that's what it, that's what it did you can apply it to both sides but depends on you i just did that for i just did that for one for this particular area let's um go to the next thing here which is our bed icon oh sorry our bed png 
yes i i did this i placed on there so the um size for that I, okay just 24 15 so i copied it yes, so and i reduced the size very well and i placed it here somewhere here because that's where my ship was let me look for my ship icon okay this is my ship icon this is my ship okay my ship icon is locked this is my ship icon the size for this ship is 29 17 29 17 so i'll just place this here i'll place the ship icon there and i'll position it to the back so this is what i did for the ship okay all these clouds are actually too big yes this is what i was saying Okay, yes, the reason why um, the cloud is like this, they are not in the right position. Yes, it's supposed to be like this. Yes, I just got it now. It's supposed to be like this. So let me delete this one too. Or oh, should I leave like that? So you just do what you feel like. The cloud is not actually the main part in this tutorial, so you can actually leave, do anything you want with that. There's nothing wrong with this. Okay, let me just, oh, sorry. What is wrong with my picture lab? Oh, what is this? Okay. Okay, this is this. I'll just rotate this. I'll put it back. Okay, it's still okay though. It's still okay though. Let's continue with what we have here. So this is the, um, this one is here. Let me bring this down a bit. Okay, let me, okay, let me put that up a bit to the, reduce the size for this, it is um, 12, 7, 12, 7, the width is 12, the height is 7, so do that, so I duplicated this blur, um, this blur effect I used, I'll, I'll reduce the size for this, this my Coca-Cola is actually in opposition to the center, yes, I forgot about that, the Coca-Cola is in opposition to the center, I'll just do that now, okay, just a little bit, little different, so this is it, Okay, I'm still okay with this. Is it bent properly? Let me see if I can still rotate the Coca Cola just a bit. A little bit. Let me give it okay. Yes, this is okay. Yes, this is okay. Okay, I'll do minus 23. The I'll tell it was minus 23. So I'll reduce the size for this. Now place it here where the A is. I'll place it there so that place can be glittering a bit. Place it there. Okay, let me bring down my Coca Cola a bit. Let me bring it down a bit. Yes, this is nice. This is nice. You can actually it doesn't matter you just you know the positioning in everything it, there's a different there should be a different because i took time to do that and you know this is a tutorial we're not going to stay here forever so we just have to you know hurry through what we have here so i reduce the size position it at this a area hold on let me increase the size back a bit so that is just the main thing here that's the main thing here okay it's not actually perfect this is not perfect it's not touching this a the way i want so now i've covered my main the first blow which i did that is at the back 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 so i want this thing to yes okay this is it it's coming up that's come up a bit hold on sorry okay it's, it has gone up too much okay yes yes this is it let that main part that's glowing be touching the tip of this uh coca cola bottle so oh uh, i can't rather so i'll duplicate this again duplicate this again place it at this top side top side that's all place it at this top side yes that piece was glittering i remember place it there place it there Okay, that is that. Okay, so now yeah, I think it's going already. So I'll duplicate, I duplicate this again for the ship aspect. I just increase my size. You can just make it big any way you want it. So place it here. You can see the ship part I'm looking at now. You can see that things let it um, cover the ship area a bit. So you can see that's covered, that part has covered. Duplicate it again. Adjust it. Let it cover the ship area a bit. That part has covered as well. So place these two, you just duplicate it to the back. To the back. Now place your ship, your main ship. Okay, sorry, this is already. Okay, let me lock this cloud already. The main ship, where is it? I'll place it to the back, back, back. So you can see that. So now we adjust this, bring them down since you know they are covering the ship a little bit. So yes, they're covered. So you can see what I'm doing now. You can see. You can see that. You can see that. Okay. That's okay. You just readjust that. See how okay, that you just push it up. We have to bring it down. Any one of the two. But I brought mine down so it can just you know blow that area. So the next thing was the um okay, the text and the the um this stuff here, which is actually already manually here. So I'll just place it at the back, place the all the clouds, place all the clouds to the back. So that's that for the clouds. So you can okay, the text is locked. I think the text is together with the PLP, but it's actually not you know compulsory. You can actually go with your own text. You can change that. That is the PLP. So you can do it to change that. I'll just bring all this down a bit. Bring all this down a bit. Hold on. Make this come up a bit. Okay. That is that for that area. So now let's start blowing this perfectly. Okay, I've done that already. It's already glowing. Now it's glowing. Okay, yes, this is exactly what I wanted before. Okay, I think this was my um, image that was covering this so this is this this is this the last one which is this okay mainly true without that so you just need to so we're actually um yes i guess we're through with the main tutorial let's check it out let's just confirm once again so of course like i said there'll be a little little difference okay there's not actually too much difference though okay we forgot our wheel the wheel is still here see this is it this is the wheel look at it here this is it this is it Okay, hold on. Let me go back. So the size is twenty three fourteen, and the opacity is fifty. 
so you can see there's one thing bring the wheel to the front and reduce the opacity for it the opacity was 50 so i position the wheel to be at this place yeah it's just something like this it's okay you can actually readjust everything i did here in this tutorial but for the sake of time you know we can't stay here forever so we just have to so i'm just readjusting okay this is nice too yes this is nice okay yes, this is it i just brought the seat down this part of this water that was you know so where is my blow effect let me lock these ones down so this is it okay okay sorry this blow the way i blow this is actually not looking nice so that is that okay that is that for the main thing here that is that for the main thing here so i hope you guys you know found this helpful if you did kindly like share and subscribe uh, let me know the kind of tutorials you like and create next on my channel thank you so much thank you all for staying to the end i'll see you guys in my next tutorial